Yeah, we had a very young team and overall the performance was positive. The players are destroyed in the dressing room because they, they gave everything and they were caught in the final minute uh, of a game, basically. But overall, there was many question marks before the game. We'll be strong enough to fight with Man U today. And uh, overall, I must say, uh, the quality of our game was good. The spirit was good. Individually, many players stood up to what was requested. I felt that in the last 20 minutes we uh, we uh, tired a little bit and uh, lost some balls where we didn't lose in the first 70 minutes and uh, were a bit more under pressure and lacked maybe a bit of experience and calm as well. And uh, that's why we were a bit more under pressure in the final minutes of the game. But uh, overall, uh, was a negative result and a positive performance. Unfortunately, that happens in in the game as well. Arsene, can you enjoy days like today, or is it still just a match? To no, it's a match. Uh, it's a result. I I am programmed to try to win football games, and uh, I don't think that changes. And uh, so, of all, I'm disappointed because we lost the game, and all the rest. I'm thankful to Man United because. Uh, they had a nice gesture before the game, and uh, the first time I get a trophy before a game, you know, so it's, <laughs> that's new. And uh, it was very classy from them. Awesome. Jose Mourinho said that he, he hopes that he will meet you again, he will be a rival of yours again in some other context. Do you hope the same? I don't know if, uh, honestly, first of all, he will be at Man United next year, certainly. And I don't know where I will be. So I I, uh, I have worked uh, at top level for 35 years without any interruption. And I think I'm basically the only one in the world who has done that. So at the moment, I'm a bit uh, in unknown territory. I don't know where I will go from there. Will I take a break? Will I? Uh, uh, so I would be surprised that I meet him next year. What can you tell us about that special award before the game from Sir Alex Ferguson? What was on the trophy? What was in I don't know. I haven't looked at it because uh, I had no time. It was just before the uh, the kickoff, you know. I look at it now. You had a warm reaction from the crowd here as well. Now I want to go and have just a glass of red wine with Sir Alex because it's always good wine. <laughs> you did have a warm reaction from the crowd as well, Arsene, which hasn't always been the case here. How pleased were you with that? Yet, uh, that shows you that uh, uh, once you're not a danger anymore, people love you. There's a man in the match performance from Maitland Niles and Michael Panos as well played very, very well. Can you tell us a little bit about how the sort of potential well, uh, Knight slowly gets to the play I think he can be, you know, in the defensive midfield and uh, he can create as well. And uh, Mavropanos, in training he has shown uh, top qualities, but then you have always a question mark as long as you don't see that under pressure in the big game, uh, you don't know. And the big, uh, the big players do better in a competition than in training and uh, they make a career. The others, uh, we have many players at our level who do less well in the competition than in training. So that was the question mark before the game, and I think he did. He surprised everybody by, uh, by his quality today. Do you think today suggests that to your successor that he feels he's got quite a bit of depth in the squad? But... Look, certainly my uh, successor will watch this game today, uh, you know, and uh, hopefully he will come to positive conclusions for for this uh, for the players because I think uh, for them it is can they be part of the future of Arsenal Football Club and I think some of them have shown today yes 100 percent I would say personally 100 percent. Thank you very much. That's all. What would be your abiding memory here? What would you miss from this That's a long. Uh, I, I it's too quick for me to think about. Uh, Certainly, when we won the championship here, you know. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, the, in my job, you remember much better the defeats than the, the victories. And uh, so, 
I have as well some painful memories here. Also, were there any injuries Mkhitaryan, uh, I took him off because he had a little knock on his knee again on the same uh, thing, uh, just looking at him in the dressing room. And uh, Ospina has a rib problem. Uh, Alexi Wobi has a hamstring problem. So we'll see how everybody recovers because first they will come very quickly. Did you say any of those would be out with the tail? Who? Right now, would any of those be definitely out with the tail? Definitely at the moment, no. But we have to monitor them in the next 48 hours. We know more on Tuesday. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you.